Ladies and gentlemen, mutants are about to get a buff. Black Order are losing some buffs. And there's some changes coming to war. We're talking about all of these changes for the better or worse with my brother Mobile Gamer. Woo! And if you're ready for it, the Mobile Let's go Yeah! Alley flying. Valley Maniacs, it is time to buff the mutants. They are getting a buff in some upcoming war. Also, Black Order are losing buffs, but they may be getting some permanent buffs, not just for a war. We got some other proposed changes to talk about, and I am talking all about them with Brother Mobile Gamer. How are you, my friend? I'm doing well. How about you? I am good. So there was a call. Uh, earlier this week about some proposed changes to war. Now, these are all proposed. These were not final. Uh, we're going to discuss them. The reason they wanted to give these proposed changes is to kind of gauge our feedback and let us share this with our audience to get the community's feedback on some of these changes. So like I said on your video mobile, if you guys like these changes, let us know. Let the devs know. If you don't like these changes, let us know and let the devs know as well. But before we get into all these changes, there is a big message that went out yesterday on Twitter. Secret defenders will be usable in gamma ray nodes that require defender characters. So just like the Avengers, they are getting that secret tag in the background. What do you think of these? Do you, do you Are you having trouble in the middle section of the gamma rays or are you guys just doing 60%? All right. So I had the middle before uh, and now I have the far left. So it's a lot easier. Uh, okay. But yeah, that was kind of a mess. It was kind of a mess. So this should make the gamma raids uh, easier. And and this is just like Secret Avengers and Avengers, right? You yeah. know, the, the, uh, this it's it's the same thing. The Bionic Avengers are Avengers. They're all Avengers. So the Secret Avengers are Secret Defenders. Secret Kree yeah. for that raid lane, Mobile. Oof, Secret Kree. There yeah. we go, right? <laughs> all right. So these are the bonuses we have for war right now. Thanos, Black Order, allies, if not exhausted, getting three safeguard, evades, offense up, speed up. They got some stat changes as well. Extra war attacking from nowhere, allies, and that is what we have going on right now. What we have coming up is some of these proposed changes, and these are some notes we took here. The Nowhere Siege is ending soon. They don't have a date for this. When, do you, when are you expecting? I know they didn't really have a date that they were talking about. When are you thinking these are coming? Next update? This this update that is coming 7.4 or sometime in the no, next few months? No, 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 no. This, this, all of this seemed to be at least a month out was my, my best guess. At least a month. We'll have to see. All right. So start preparing now, commanders. Now, Black Order, they are going to be losing their war buffs which is fine. We knew it was a temporary buff. We didn't know for how long they would do that. How many people do you think upgraded their Black Order just for uh, war mobile? I did. I did. You did? Yeah, yeah. And, 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 and it would have been a waste, right? Like, and now I'm not feeling as bad about it. I mean, we don't know exactly what the Black Order reworks are going to be or how they're going to be or if they're going to happen. And it also sounded like that the reworks would come after, like they were going to change seasons, let's say. Yes. Yeah, they're going to go from a nowhere season to a, let's say, a secret defender season. And they were going to change seasons. They don't know how often they're going to change seasons. They kind of proposed that maybe they would change seasons every time there was a legendary character. But they don't know. They're, they're, they, they're, they're trying something new. And they felt like the nowhere siege season was a success. And they, now they want to move on to a secret defender season, let's say. Yeah, I think the biggest success for me came with the changes to make war more efficient and less about racing. There, there, right. there is kind of a race aspect for some alliances, but it's more about efficiency now. And I think that 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 was the biggest change for this. And they're, they, they are keeping that. The temp bonuses, exhausted, all that stuff. The rules are staying, at least for now. But as far as the Black Order reworks, right. what they did talk about, they wanted it to focus more on Thanos. I think what I what I got out of this also is that on the next season and upcoming seasons, they didn't want to redo this thing where Black Order it specifically gets this big chunk of boosts, right? Yes. And people invested in team and then it was a waste, right? And so they wanted to move away from that. And they also were not a fan of the idea of just keeping the existing buffs and making them permanent. They didn't want to add to more defensive teams. So going forward they they wanted to have more generic buffs you know like secret defenders on offense mutants on defense which we're going to talk about here in a minute 
yeah. what they wanted to do with black order is is just preserve like the value of what maybe people that put resources into black order now what they proposed was that uh that they wanted it to be a more of a, a generically universal good team and then they they referenced it to being similar to in infinity watch now I, I don't know if they're going to do that or not but the, the idea with infinity watch and my take on the way infinity watch currently is it's infinity watch is not a top five team anywhere but no. yet it is used everywhere in every single game mode and they're an important oh. team right well not not the two most important not not an arena not in raids but in war and crucible they're they're all yes. over the place offense defense yeah. and that's yes. kind of what they wanted for Black Order. So yeah. they're not going to be the super overpowered team. They're not going to be a Black Order of two years ago where they're just dominant everywhere. Right. They're be a strong team, a good team, which is better than they are right now. Right. And then secondly, the second part of it, which I thought was highly interested, is that, and, and this again is one guy talking on what he wanted to happen, right? Which may not, and, what the team and agrees I, on. And ideas that he had yeah, as well. Yeah, ideas so. he had. Is, is that he, he envisioned Black um, Thanos being uh plug and play and powerful yes. and yeah and he even went as far to say it wouldn't be cool if if, if thanos would i could, could be used in, in, in an arena and i was like well yeah. that's strong like and i don't know if that's going to happen but how do you if they do do that how do you think they're going to use that with the secret defenders it looks like it's going to be five secret defenders for offense and defense how do you think thanos rework would fit into that Oh, I don't. I don't think it's going to be five secret defenders. I don't know if you saw the footage yesterday. They promptly removed Doctor Strange from that team instantly and put in Apocalypse. Yeah, that, so, guy, that guy was not very yeah, good. Doctor Strange, Strange wasn't Strange, very good. No. So I don't think <laughs> he's it's supposed to be the leader, be, and he's like no, the worst member of the team. No, what is that? no. So yeah, you know, no. So I don't. I, I, I don't think it's going to be like that. Apocalypse, I, Black Cat, and Thanos is what it's going to revolve around. And Super Scroll. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, yeah, I forgot I, about that. Yeah, we'll, we'll have to see, right? Yeah, I, I don't know. But but anyways, um, the idea is is that they wanted to preserve, you know, Black Order and specifically Thanos to be important, and that was exciting to me. Secret Defender, not only are you going to be used in, uh, in Arena, but also in War. They already have some callos to War are going to be getting more buffs on attack. What do you think that buffs, we talked about it on your channel. What do you think those buffs are for though? What are, what are the main reasons you think they put those buffs in mobile? Well, the way I look at this is if you go back to the old bus, there was some boosts to nowhere, right? Yeah. And so um, the way that they, they and they're going to be a little different and, and they weren't set in stone, but the secret defenders getting buffs on attack, they mentioned more than once that secret defenders were very good on defense. And by getting these buffs on attack, uh, provided a reasonable solution for the mirror match is kind of what they were suggesting. In that uh, uh, not only would the mirror match, you know, they would have a boost on offense, but then there's also the exhausted mechanic so that the, the team wouldn't be impenetrable like they were they're very aware of not creating let's say like a heroes for hire 2.0 yes that's good and and with that exhaust mechanic i don't think it's possible and they didn't want this situation because what he said is even without these extra 10 percent of these primary starts and nowhere allies you mm -hmm. still they, they still smash everything so right uh that i think that was one of the things that he mentioned there just uh just so yeah, it's, it's the mirror matches that they're doing and, this and, for and and the boosts that we saw that were tentative were more impactful than the nowhere boosts and uh so that'll be interesting also all right one of the big things mutants they're getting buffs, so all the mutants that you invested in in the past, they are coming back as far as relevance. Unfortunately, the mutant buffs are coming on war defense. What do you think about these buffs? Were, what, did, it, did it get you as excited as I was that they're changing around these things? Older teams could possibly brought back into some relevance, or, or, did it, or did that focus on war defense kind of disappoint you? Okay, so I I didn't see it that way. I I like the way I interpreted it was that uh, so like let's say uh, Death Seed, right? Death yes. Seed is usually used on offense. Well, maybe not now. Maybe now they'll be used on defense. That's the way I saw it. The way I okay. saw it is that Unlimited X Men, Death Seed, and Apocalypse now are going to go on defense. That's the way that I interpreted this playing out is that these these buffs were going to be important 
and it looked like they were room buffs that like mutants get this as long as this room is up, right? But then you blow up that room and then that buff goes away. And they also looked like they changed a lot of the rooms. Like most of the rooms had significant changes and it looked like they are more focused on adjacent room bonuses. And so that there was going to be a lot more strategery, strategic placement Strategy of rooms. Awesome. And, and yeah, right. It, it felt like they were mixing it up so that it was not the same old, same old. And it felt to me that their intent with these changes was that they wanted to make it have like a seasonal cosmic crucible feel. It does that. that that's the way I felt that that was, you know, like they yeah. wanted to make it more like, well, it's the same old, same old. No, we're going to introduce these buffs. We're going to do these room changes. And largely, it was focused around mutants on defense. Yeah, and, and they, the, the, the other thing I do like is it's an entire faction that's getting these buffs on defense. So there is theory crafting. Theory crafting is coming back. And I think that's one of the most important. So maybe you don't want to put a full death seed. Maybe you want to put death seed with phoenix or or some other mutants or something like that you could you could make some hybrids so you will see some rooms that have some different teams based on who people yeah. have built up in the past so you're not going to be seeing the same teams uh, is is what also excites me yeah i'm not sure if this is going to be like a a rebirth huh, of phoenix right uh you see what i did there right yeah but no, anyway no, i don't I think <laughs> i i don't think it's I, it too, or or even um jubilee and friends right i don't know if that is going to be a thing Bishop but and I, jubilee the three piece of the astonishing X-Men, maybe, maybe. But i i just saw that like you know some of these teams that are most of the time are being used on offense would pivot to defense uh, unlimited in death seed and uh, in apocalypse for that matter yes yes all right so we talked about some room changes that are happening they, they seem to be aligning more with the adjacency attempt bonuses exhausted they are staying this is an interesting one right now we get 10 energy at the start i do like that what it looks like we're going to get six at the start and then after 12 hours we're going to get four more it is subject to change though how would this affect you and your lines? Because for okay. me, it wouldn't affect me too much. We're a very casual lines, and I usually wait and do all my attacks at once. Uh, but for you, you you play this game, you play this game mode a little more hardcore than a yeah. lot of players. So how is this going to affect you and your alliance? Okay, so there were issues with people being too aggressive with their attacks, and not only. Um, preventing other people from getting attacks because the war would finish early or there wouldn't mm. be good things, but also uh, people being aggressive with their attacks and using poor teams in unfavorable situations and making bad decisions. So, you know, we, the alliance I'm in had to restrict and create rules, right? Because of the way the system was like, I think the way the rule is right now is like 10 offensive wins is all you're allowed to get in the mm. first 12 hours. So whether that takes 11 attacks or 12 attacks, but then you know, get your 10 offensive wins, make sure you hit your gamma, make sure you hit a dark hole, make sure you hit a black order, make sure you hit an infestation, whatever, you know, like, yeah. and then, and then stop. And then after the 12th hour, then you make more attacks. So, you know, when there's events and things like that, now I imagine in, in more casual lines is a little different. So. I believe so what they said was that they were trying to create a system that would prevent from people from you know doing 14 attacks at the beginning and then you know the the 20 most engaged uh players finish up the war and then, uh, then the last four okay. get nothing but I didn't see it like that what I saw was they didn't like me not refreshing you know, for war credits, you know, purchasing of war Blitz currency <laughs> with Blitz currency. They want currency. you to spend your cores. That's what they I want mean. me to spend my currency because <laughs> war used to cost money to do max attacks. You know, I would have yeah. to refresh the, that story and and then with my Blitz currency, buy the war currency. And now I don't have to, right? And so that's what I think really happened. And this is not particularly convenient for me. And I'll just give you an example is that... Uh, my war starts at noon my time right uh -huh. and then all right so i do my six attacks right and then the other four comes at midnight well i'm not going to be playing at midnight let's say i wake up at uh -huh. 8 a.m and then i got four hours at the last four hours Ooh. of the war 
I, I, I don't like this. I, I, I feel like the 12 hours is bad. Uh, if they could do it within six hours or something like that, maybe hold people off for six hours, but not 12 hours. So what, how would you feel about this change? Because all, all this was just kind of, you know, proposals, right? What if you get your 10 attacks at, at the start, but to prevent those people from using 14 attacks at the start, you could buy those four attacks later. I, yeah, well, I, 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 but again, they said that the reason for this was, you know, people weren't getting their attacks in, but I really think it was about people not having money. to spend, yeah, yeah. Uh, about or, the or logging in twice, because right now, as yeah. it stands in war, you could log in the beginning of war, do your 10 attacks, not have to log in again for that. Now you at least have to log in two times if these changes go live, but... These are all proposals, guys. Let me know your thoughts on it. We've given you our thoughts, good and bad, on some of these changes. The devs are interested. I'm interested. Leave a comment down below. And if you haven't already subscribed, hit that subscribe button. Thank you guys for watching. Mobile Woo! Gamer, any final thoughts, my friend? Hulk smash out! Fist yes, bump. let's Hulk smash it! Woo! All about uh, Mobile Gamer and Valley flying out. Have a great weekend, guys.